And tonight we're learning more, meanwhile, about why El Paso's mayor pushed back against a plan from the Biden administration that would have kept migrants in El Paso as they waited on asylum proceedings as well. KFOX 14 News at 9's Jonathan Mejia is live outside of City Hall with more on that shelved plan and also why the mayor didn't sign off on it. Jonathan? The Biden administration had originally planned to keep migrants in the state of Texas while their court proceedings played out. That is their immigration court proceedings. Now, Mayor Oscar Leeser did not agree with the federal government's conditions as migrants would have a strict curfew and they would also wear GPS monitors while they remained in El Paso. In a now defunct plan, the Biden administration planned for migrant families to remain in Texas while their immigration court proceedings played out. We reached out to the mayor of El Paso for an interview, but his office provided a statement that reads in part, quote, we have conversations with all of our federal partners on the humanitarian crisis we are facing on a daily basis. In those conversations, an increase in hotel rooms for sheltering was agreed upon, end quote. The city of El Paso had initially agreed to provide 400 hotel rooms to house migrants, but due to the recent migrant surge, the city was unable to provide those rooms. The statement continued to read, The reason nothing proceeded on that front is because we had a large surge in asylum seekers, which eliminated the ability to reserve any additional hotel rooms for any other purpose than to handle the surge at the time, end quote. According to the Department of Homeland Security, the program was supposed to start in mid-September, but officials with DHS told CBS News that the city backed out after the plan was made public, but the mayor denies that. The city of El Paso never agreed to any program in which migrant families would be subject to home curfews or ankle monitoring while under our care. While we are aware that this happens under federal care, I did not support those conditions under our care and never will. We reached out to Congresswoman Veronica Escobar, but she was unable to provide a statement in time for this report, and Congressman Tony Gonzalez sent the following statement. Biden's Remain in Texas idea just adds insult to injury by asking border communities to continue bailing them out. We should instead be speeding up deportation proceedings for the 9 out of 10 migrants that don't qualify for asylum. The mayor of El Paso also added that the federal government has been a great partner to the city of El Paso as we've seen several migrant surges here in the borderland by providing federal funding. The mayor also added that they will continue to work with all federal partners. I'm reporting live in downtown El Paso, Jonathan Mejia, KFOX 14 News at 9.